In this example, we will be evaluating the square root of 0 0.09. To do this, we first want to turn 0 0.09, which is a decimal, into a fraction. 0 0.09 as a fraction is 9 over 100, because the 9 is in the 100th place value. So now that we have a fraction, we can then employ an important math rule, which is the square root of a over b is equal to the square root of a over the square root of b. This means that if we have a fraction inside of a square root, we can rewrite this as two individual square roots with division in the middle. Now we can use this to continue to simplify our solution. The square root of 0 0.09 is equal to the square root of 9 over 100, because 0 0.09 is equal to 9 over 100. And now we can rewrite this as the square root of 9 over the square root of 100. The square root of 9 is equal to 3, because 3 squared is equal to 9. We can then rewrite the square root of 9 as 3. The square root of 100 is 10 because 10 squared is equal to 100. Now we can see that our fraction, the square root of 9 over the square root of 10, or the square root of 100, becomes 3 over 10. So this will be our solution. However, we can also write this fraction as a decimal. 3 tenths as a decimal would be 0 0.3. So, to answer our question, the square root of 0 0.09 is equal to 3 tenths, or 0 0.3. Now to check our answer, we can multiply 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 and make sure that it's equal to 0 0.09. 3 times 3 is 9, 0 times 3 is 0, add our 0 placeholder, 0 times 3 is 0, and 0 times 0 is 0. Now we get 0, 0, 9, and we have to move our decimal place two spaces backwards because we have two digits after the decimal. 1, 2, and then we can see that th 0 0.3 squared is 0 0.09, so our answer is correct. That 0 0.09 is equal to 0 0.3 squared, or the square root of 0 0.09 is equal to 0 0.3.